creating a holographic display is something I have actually been dreaming about for more than 20 years. And all the time, the underlying dream has been to create a true holographic display. Why do we want to create a holographic television, a 3D holographic television? I think it's because we want to get closer to reality. Audio was added to movies, nobody wants to go back. Once color was added, nobody wants to go back. This will be the next thing. When you get this element of realism, you don't want to go, go back to the flat images. A holographic display is, you could say, like a window. Through that, you can see anything naturally in three dimensions that's that's really what we're trying to achieve here project echo is a project to create the world's first holographic television that means a television where scenes and objects and persons have true stereoscopic depth appearing to come out or be behind the screen and where they are really solid in space so you can walk around and see them from different angles so to have a real life scene in your living room in the early days, when Edison and the Lumiere brothers invented moving pictures, moving pictures were all about flat content. Uh, today that's changing. Uh, all the computer power, the real-time render engines that are used for gaming, that we see in virtual and augmented reality, that we see in virtual studios, production sets, creating now big Hollywood releases, completely generated as 3D uh, virtual sets. This is bringing a new realm into content. Content is no longer created as flat images. It exists there out in the production world as true volumetric 3D images. So there's a need to be able to see that without every time having to put on some head-mounted display type. We all play in 3D, we all learn in 3D, and, and we all work in 3D, basically. You can't even think of a product today that hasn't been designed or constructed in 3D somehow. The irony is that we look at those 3D data on a 2D display. That, is, that really doesn't give us the whole experience. The tech industry is trying to, to make this better by allowing head-mounted displays to, to virtually augment 3D data into our environment. And that is really something and, and will provide benefits for sure. But how about the displays? I mean, we all interact with televisions and displays on a daily basis, and why should they keep being a 2D surface? Our vision is that those displays will become holographic as well, allowing the same apps, the same content from the head-mounted displays to come to life on these displays in full 3D and full perspective. That also allows a much more barrier-free collaboration between humans. It allows a multi-user experience around a display without having to bother yourself with any other technology. It's not like in VR where people are looking everywhere and over their shoulder. And in, when you have a holographic display, you have one direction, you have one point where people look at but they still get this immersed feeling because they have all the dimensions and, and the full 3D. And that's not like, you know, the old 3D movies where, where when you move, the image follows you and there's no planes in perspective. No, 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 this is, this is full 3D. Full perspective, looking around, seeing new uh, details behind every object. That's an immersed feeling but still in a controlled manner where you know where people is looking. But just with that extra dimension, that extra feeling of looking into a reality. When you, when you perceive an image in an echo television, it comes out of the screen, but you, then you can walk around it and you can go up and down, see it from, from many angles. And every time you move your head around this object, you get an extra dimension. So you can say it's not only one dimension extra, like in normal 3D, it's multiple dimensions. 
we are not rendering an image perspective for each and every position in the room. We are creating a perspective for positions in the room where there is actually an eyeball to watch it. So we are tracking eyes in the audience. We are rendering perspective images only corresponding to those positions. And we're emitting light from display only uh, towards those positions. That means a typical light field display may emit light in 50,000 or more directions uh, for each frame. We emit light in, if you have five people watching the TV set, then the 10 eyeballs. So we will emit light in 10 directions. So that is several orders of magnitude, less bandwidth, less computing processing power, um, uh, less complexity in the circuits. The huge advantage of the ECHO technology is that it's low cost, mass manufacturable within the thin film production capabilities that we have today, which means it's not a, it's not a down the road future technology. It's something that can be produced now. Our ambition is to create a product that can be scaled up to mass production with the type of processes that are more or less in use today in existing display fabs. There is no reason to be confined to 2D television when we live in a three-dimensional world. The future is near, and it's definitely not flat. Uh, I love to go to the theater and see a real theater play. I want to get as close as possible to that if I'm sitting at home in my living room or are at the design office here in Royal Fiction. I want to get as close to that reality as possible because it makes me even better at what I do because I get a feeling of spaciousness. It's, it's about creating a technology that is really comfortable for people, uh, that is as close as possible to that real theater play. Um, that's what Project Echo is about. Let me ask, I mean, why, why are we several hundred thousand people working in this industry towards bringing these experiences to the verge of feeling completely real? I mean, it's down to the difference between looking at a roller coaster ride on a TV or looking at it through a pair of VR goggles you feel that you are more there. It feels more real. Why do elder people uh, feel that they are brought back in time when they experience three-dimensional memories in, in virtual reality? Why can we cure people's phobias through these technologies? It's because we are so close to creating a perception of reality. That's why we will see a transformation into holographic visual communication over the next five to ten years. Echo. Holographic. Television.